Hello, Kevin here, showing my new bud design. This is something that hasn't been done before, and uh, basically, it's sand-based, and what makes it unique is that it is the first bud detector, which uh, detects block updates, so any change with the block, um, basically, it could be uh, an oven lighting up, there's a change in the block, uh, leaves growing next to something, maybe your crop goes to the next stage of growth. You can do a lot of things with buds that are very interesting, um, search for the bud topic, but this bud detector has five sides that can be interacted with. And so I can, when I place this, you can see that the piston activates. And what it's doing is, uh, this block has the output signal. And the torch is this there, so it's easy to see. But that inversion is just showing that every time that there is a block change next to the piston, causes a change here. And so the application of this piston being here is that you can actually hide this very well, very nicely into the ceiling. Or not hide it, but it's, uh, it looks much nicer than this and a bunch of pistons being sideways. It just is a nice inlet up in your ceiling in case you wanted something interacted um, with your ceiling, such as a tree farm, which I'll demonstrate later in this video. to some effect. And let me show you how the circuitry works here. It's really simple. Most buds aren't that complex. It just seems like it is. Uh, but it... Okay. Uh, there's these two repeaters here that feed into here. And this works off a little bug. The bug is this wire, since it's um, isolated, it points in all directions. But this redstone wire can power into this block here. And if it block powers into the block two above a piston, it can activate the piston, but only when there is a block update next to the piston. And so that's what's happening. The block update happens. This powers the piston, and the piston pushes the sand block up. When it pushes that sand block up, that sand block ends up being here, which this repeater powers the block. When the, powers blo when the block is powered by the repeater, it then acts as a power source itself, powers this wire, which is our output. And that output is just signaled by the torch there for easy viewing from down there. This fe also feeds into the block here, and this acts as an inverter to... Um, this is the power that does both of the... Um, powering of the block and the powering of the piston, but we want them both to turn off at the same time, just about. And that's what this does. When that sends a signal out, it also sends a, a turn off signal for the piston so that it drops the sand and resets the whole bud switch. So this isn't the fastest bud switch, but it is a bud switch that uses sand, and it's the first bud switch that I know of, um, besides ones that use uh, multiple pistons that uses a single normal piston to do a bud switch. So that's really nice for people who can't find slimes very often. Me, I've never, I've fought three slimes my whole time playing Minecraft, and every time I killed them I didn't get any slime. I'm very disappointed in that. Alright, but there's, you can slightly modify this for another bud design. This is using a sticky piston, it's hard to see. And just a normal block, and whereas... Alright, this needs the repeater set to 4 ticks. Otherwise, <laughs> let me show you what happens. When you start it, it actually... The signal that sets it to turn off goes so quickly that the bud is being activated by the sand block falling and landing on the piston itself and essentially is creating a clock that is piston powered and if you compare that to this five clock which is your fastest uh, redstone clock it's actually just slightly faster than that which i find interesting and you can tell that too because you can hear the torch here that's just kind of buzzing out it's sizzling out repeatedly um, but by creating that four tick delay or you can actually get away with a three tick delay on one of the four you can fix that. This uses a sticky piston and a normal block, and you have these both sit at one tick. And you want them that way. And now this is works much quicker than the sand-based normal piston one. Uh, 
but of course it requires a sticky piston. And again, this is the five faces, which makes it very nice, very unique. And it works by a uh, very similar principle, uh, essentially the same principle. And the circuitry, as you can see, is all the same. I have the red, the yellow, and the blue here, just to show the blue is kind of the out output and it feeds back into here. The yellow is the constant power that's waiting to go in to power the block. The red is the block that this is going to power the piston itself. All right, so here we're gonna see an application. This is our tree farm. Uh, the tree is being lit by glowstone and this rain is there to force the tree to grow tall because if it grew too short, it wouldn't touch the ceiling. And um, when it touches the ceiling, it hits that piston and it activates well, in theory. And uh, when it does that, <laughs> I have it set up with a sand block here just because I think the sand um, powered piston is unique. This is a setup that's mirrored from that one. I mirrored it just to show that it, it doesn't matter which way you do it. And also here is a um, way I finagled a T flip flop to kind of wrap around the design. So this is four by five by two in size, except for the piston that sticks out the bottom. And uh, you can't notice any of the circuitry here because it's all hidden right above the ceiling. That's pretty cool. That I like, but I'm kind of obsessive. All right, and so when that, basically what happens is this red here, this feeds into the red and creates a very quick monostable pulse that only turns the sticky piston on long enough to move the block one way or the other. Uh, from this spot to that spot, and then it'll flick and move it to that spot. Um, but it won't, it won't stick, to the, uh, stick to the block. It'll put the block out like it has right here. Uh, which you'll just see in action, I guess. And then if it's pushed out, <laughs> this torch feeds the uh, repeater here into here, and then the block powers the uh, wire next to it. And this torch is just so it's easy to see. Uh, this, I found interesting, this uh, torch, even though it's down here, seems to take the attention away from this red uh, stone wire from going into here, which it needs to be going into here to power that piston, but either that's visual or maybe I don't understand quite how it works, uh, but it apparently isn't an issue because uh, things still work. Maybe someone else can explain that to me. All right, so I'm going to show you uh, something I don't quite understand, but we're gonna use some uh, bone meal on this and hopefully, all right, it grew. That torch was black before and it's still black. Now this is, uh, here, this should be a block update. The leaves are clearly touching the ceiling, and I don't really know why it doesn't update. I wonder if I let it grow naturally, if it would update, and if it works at all as far as pistons detecting. But watch this. Well, as soon as I destroy the leaf, that is counted as a block update, and the torch turns on. And you can see that the sticky piston this time brought the, brought the piston back down there. So that's that. I I would. <laughs> I'm not sure if the bud works with uh, detecting when a tree grows or not, I re or if it's just the use of bone meal that bone meal that tricks it up. Uh, but one little trick here, because it's on the ceiling, because you're using the bottom, you can actually toggle that easily by just um, dropping a sand block, and basically it just touches it just for a moment and so it doesn't um, count as two changes in the state, only one. And so now it toggled it off. You could toggle it on again. Uh, but besides that, I guess, glitch, within the glitch uh, of the tree not being detected, this is, this is what I had in mind when I designed the circuit. It's very small, very simple, and it doesn't require a sticky piston. So if you have any thoughts, ideas, designs, and I don't even know, but maybe there's some application. I think it's just kind of neat that uh, piston blade, piston based uh, clock design. Uh, let me know.